guys, welcome back. We're gonna play some modern here. Danny DB uh, has has commissioned us to build a mono white tokens deck. His words: Daniel Daniel Mc, McBrown. He said, please brew a white X tokens deck focused around white flying tokens, flyers, that you have things like Safara and do some sweet Sarah the Benevolent action. Battle Screech, Lingering Souls, triple, Triplicate Spirits, and the like are my thinking for madness. And not, not, the, not the mechanic. And hope to get Safara ASAP, but I'm sure you have ideas too. Plus Path and Sideboard White stuff as required. Alright, so let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to go mod, M20, token, flyer tokens. Uh, I don't Tokes. Know. White tokens. Mm -hmm. And we'll play modern. We'll go back up to this one. We'll put Danny DB. All right, so Sarah... That's not what we're looking for. Sarah. Oh, I have one. That's cool. Uh, what do you think? Three? Three sounds fine. Like your hair is making me crazy. I'm not used to it being messy. Is my hair messy? Yeah, you look like a, a little you, bit. You look like you look like a goddamn wreck. It's because I am one. Linger and souls. Do 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 do. What about spectral procession? Spectral, I think, is one of the only three drop cards that puts three spirits into play. Going down to Viridian City. Viridian City? Yeah. What is that from? I've only played three sp Lingering Souls. I don't know if we're black yet, so I'm just throwing these in there. What about Raise the Alarm? Raise the Alarm is guaranteed, right? Take me down. What's Viridian City? Where is that? Was that Final Fantasy VII or something? No, that's Pokemon. Hmm. I mean, if we play black, we also get access to Bitter Blossom, so. Oh, Bitter Blossom. Wow. Yeah, Bitter Blossom. Wow, Bitter Blossom. And then we can play the fourth. Lingering Souls. They have to be flyers? Oh, you're right. Get Raise the Alarm out of here. More like shit the alarm, am I right? <laughs> Wow. If you go Bitter Blossom on turn two... Oh, no, you need a white mana, too. Dang it, that's sad. Good call, Undreamt Tuna. I think Mox Diamond is a good start. Oh, God, these people. All right, we're going to play Isolated Chapel. We're going to play... Shrubland. Godless... <laughs> God, I hate you all. Godless Shrines. I just added, like, ten of them. But the, there you go. Oh, I added five. Jesus. Marsh Flats. Marshall Flathers. And then we're going to play, what else? Planes. Fetid Heaths. Two Fetids. Uh, Lotus Jet Pearl Balance. Okay. Solid. Solid suggestions all. Uh, let's add five of these guys. Six of these guys. Seven. One Urborg. How's that sound? Good? Okay. How do you feel about one Vault of the Archangel? Seems okay. I actually love Vault of the Archangel as a, a black-white card. You might want some swamps. What about Honor of the Pure? What about Intangible Virtue? That seems better. Do we want swamps? We have one black card so far, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 black sources in the in the main deck. Is that a good amount? I just want to make sure we have these for... Or actually, it seems a pretty good option. I know it's not fly. Uh, I, put, I put it in the sideboard, if anything. In Tang. What else does he mention? Uh, Battle Screech? I don't know if Battle Screech is modern playable, but we'll see. You can battle screech. 
Screech Battle. Battle Screech. Screech. <laughs> I bet if I had a C here, it's going to be a totally different cards. Oh, wow. How about an E? Okay, that's where we want it. That's wow, 32, 32 of this Battle Screech. You can tell we drafted a lot of Vintage Masters. I'll play three Battle Screeches. We'll see how that goes. I think we should have to play the fourth Lingering Soul. Yeah, alright. Uh, I feel like we want another two drop that... Is there any two, two... Is there any two mana flyers that are good? What about, like, Selfless Spirit? Let's go rest in peace. Is it just a four rest in peace format? It feels yes. like it right now. Yes. Yes. You could also play four ley lines. Banalish Marshall? Eh, that guy doesn't fly though. Four ley lines of the void? What is Anointed Procession? Does that make co top token copies? I don't think we need that. That just seems cute. Modern is kind of butts right. It's a four Leyline for Yeah, but we also have four Rest in Peace. Well, yeah, yep. but Leyline can be free sometimes. But if it's not free, it costs four. That's and it also, like, if you don't, if you just have to cast it, then you're not, it's not coming down until turn four. Other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. Do 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 do. Dap dap. Mysterious and chunky, they're all together funky. A quarter paladin. That's good. Yeah, okay. I like Campbell as like a two of in the sideboard. Campbell's a good dude. Campbell's tomato soup. Why tomato soup? Why not other soups, Michael? Because that's just the one I picked. Campbell has many soups. What does an accordion paladin do? Do I want to sing a vault to the archangel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Oreo champions. I don't have Oreo champions. I'm just going to have to put drop down to zero. What does that one do? You know what Oreo champion does? It's pretty good. I can't with him sometimes, guys. Put three of those dudes. Only three layers? Oh, come on. Come on. Have some. Have some stuff. Thoughtseize. What's Force of Virtue? You know what I think of that? Not great, Bob. <laughs> um. Hmm. I don't know if Force of Virtue is great. I do like Thoughtseize nah. though. Although I'm less, I'm less interested in Thoughtseize because Isolated Chapel is going to come down on turn two. Fetid Heath can't tap for it. I think we do want one Swamp though. We could play more fetches. His name is Michael B. Doodle doo. Oh, uh, what a windswept. Yeah, that seems fine. Your board should be four rip, four ley line, four surgical, four three Nihil spell bomb, just to be sure. Oh lord. Oh lord. How many cards we got so far? This is fifty four cards and twenty three lands, which seems okay. Twenty three lands. I oh, mean, play 22. 22 lands? Mm hmm. Are you being serious? Yeah. Really? I'm greedy. Okay. I got basics right here. I got basics for days. Four. 
Not nearly enough mana ties. I think that's correct. Kaya's Guile does seem cute. <sighs> I mean, it does exile cards from a graveyard, too. And it does make a 1 1. Mm. Yeah. Really? What makes more flying tokens? I don't know. I feel like I want to look up a black white tokens list to get ideas, and then we can. Deck of the day! This is from last year, but it should still be fine. Soren. I really don't like Soren Solemn Visitor, so I'm not even like. Not even really considering it. Oh, Shambling Vents. Let's put two Shambling Vents up in here. We can take out one Fetid Heath. And? And a Plains. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that. Alright, I'm, I'm clicking these links you guys have sent. What's the Solemn Visitor do again? What's the Solemn Visitor do again? Oh, this all look, 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 look again. Oh, this version has four Battle Screech, two Sarah. I have three and three. Interesting. They also have the one Vault and two Shambling Vent and two Windswept Heaths. Concealed Courtyard, that seems good. Seven Plains? They don't have Isolated Chapel? Interesting. Isolated Chapel is one of my favorite lands. It's me favorite land. No. Is it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 23 lands as well. Okay. They have also two less god, two fewer godless shrines. So instead of isolated chapels and uh, two godless shrines and a fetid heath. Actually, fetid heath can probably go for concealed. I just wanted to make sure we had the triple white for this, but like the only thing that doesn't allow us to do that are the two herborgs. So, and the vault. And then they basically have um, four more four more planes for a couple of these. Probably planes are probably good. I guess we can just go like add one, add one. We can take out two chapels. I think that's fine. Force of Virtue is interesting. How many battle screws should we play? Well, we got three, because it does cost four mana. Yeah, but you make the toke. I do like one Force of Virtue, actually. Oh, they do make the toke. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that, Mike. You really like Force of Virtue? As a one-of, yeah. Like, you can just play it on their turn. I guess. I mean, it's another Anthem effect. Anthem effects are huge. You can play Elspeth. Which one? The four drop? Yeah. I don't really want more four drops, though. How does this deck be Neoform? I don't know. <laughs> Who cares about all that? Could play Thought Seasons. The Michael B's family. Look, as long as we add an S to this, totally different cards come up. Well, I guess I, SE is probably the sweet spot. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, so one, two... We can probably just play three in the main deck, and then we still get two slots left over. And then we can play one more in the sideboard. And we'll put like two Inquisitions in the sideboard. No, not that one. And then that's 15 cards. And that's six discard spells, which is pretty decent. Liliana Last Hope seems pretty bad, because we can't actually get back. There's not that many creatures in our deck to get back. We have like two Selfless Spirits as actual creatures. And Safara. Damping Sphere? I mean, we already have Stony Silence for Tron. And a bunch of discard spells. Maybe we just take out... Cam Ball seems like kind of cute. Yeah, let's... It's good against Control, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can see that against two Inquisitions. You guys keep recommending Elspeth. I'm not sure I want another four drop. It doesn't really seem great, especially because she doesn't make flyers. She kind of does. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Maybe. They all float up there. They do all float up there. And everyone, all these decks have four battle screeches. Maybe it's just another battle screech. What about one Archangel of Thune? I don't sure. know. We don't have a lot of life gain, though. A fun of Divine Visitation. Uh, we decided Rest in Peace versus Leyline because Rest in Peace costs two mana and Leyline costs four, so unless you have it in your opening hand, it's just significantly better. That's why you can mulligan it down to one till you get it. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's what people keep saying, but I really don't think that's a legitimate strategy. You like mulligan to one? I really don't. That's your loss. Plus, like, if you just... I, there's so many times where I draw Leyline on the second turn, and I'm just like, all right, well, I guess I'll play this on turn four. Uh, I I have not. Rest in peace. Being too late is not. That has definitely not been my my impression. Uh, secure the way snow because again it doesn't make uh flyers. Yeah, Leyland doesn't shut off your lingering souls. You can easily cut your lingering souls for the rest in pieces. I still advocate for Dark Confidant. I mean, we're just trying it out. If we if we if we play against the graveyard decks, we figure out let your rest in pieces worse. Then I'll just play it and I'll just switch it. It's not the end of the world. You can play one Bob. Okay, yeah, and then we'll hit our I'll hit our spectral processions and our battle screeches and our seven drops safaras. Solid. Solid. It's just a fun of. Yeah, I'm having probably only reveal one drops. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Hands. Having a lot of fun. Monastery Mentor, that's a good one, except it still does not fly. We're trying to put Safari into play for free, guys, and we're also trying to take advantage of uh, creatures you control with flying, get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Maybe just another Selfless Spirit. Sure. Uh, the only thing we care about in our graveyard is Lingering Souls, and we can easily cut it for Rest in Peace. And Battle Screech, I guess. That does make it worse, unfortunately, but... Oh, Brimaz, huh? Well, that guy flies. Flagstones, Urborg, and Smallpox. God, that's so like you. So actually, I mean, the Battle Screech might actually compel me to play Leyline. If it was just Lingering Souls, it's one thing, but no one mentioned Battle Screech. And Battle Screech does. Sarah Ascendant doesn't fly unless your life total is high enough. Right? It doesn't... Mm -hmm. Which one does it have by default? Lifelink or Flying? I know it gains it one lifelink. of those. I think it is both. It's just a 1-1. One -one. It has lifelink as long as you have 30 more gains flying. Okay. Squadron Hawk? Squadron Hawk seems terrible. That's, for two mana, that's not what I want to be playing here. Well, so you don't want to play just one. That'd be weird. Mm -hmm. I probably just want that's another Selfless Spirit. It's another two mana flyer that we can battle Screech with. Um, throw an Emrakul? See, that's a solid strategy. Yeah, let's put Leyland in just because of the Battle Screech. Oh god, I hate that I hate that this is like the format that we're that we're playing right now. Do onesie. One, two, three, four. Put you guys over Oh no. Add one to the deck and put them over here. Alright. Now we're gonna utilize manatraders.com which is a sponsor of the stream. And if you use the, the link and promo code in the description, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And then Michael will look like this. Sarah the Benevolent. These are actually pretty cheap. But they do have a great service where you can borrow or rent. Um, no, Safari is real cheap too. I can just pick up Safari. It's like five cents. Force of Virtue. I bet that thing's cheap, too. Force of Virtue. That's also... Okay, we're actually going to just grab those 
and we're going to borrow these Oriok champions. I think that's all we'll need for now. Rent them, rent them, and schment them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. More like link in the chat. Yeah, be sure to use that link and that promo code if you guys use their service, though. I've been crawling in the dark, looking for the answer. Well, that's unfortunate. 36%. All right, we're just going to wait for Mana Traders to open up because they're going to open up first. This deck won Hogak? Maybe. And then they open up the trade. And you get your guys. All right. And that's Mana Traders for you guys. So if you guys want a, a way to test decks on Magic Online, it's a great service to do it. Unless Magic Online's, unless Magic Online's trades don't work, in which case you're like, oh, okay. I'm gonna write done. I already took them. They're already gone. They're already here. All right, let's wrap with the trade. What is this, Manager's Service Two? Okay. I'm just going to reopen it here. Shut up and take my money. Tree fitty. <laughs> that's, but that's not, but that's not how I don't understand. Thank you. Josh, thank you so much, buddy. Spider-B, thank you so much for Lisa, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Check the rank. Wow. That makes more sense now. That is tree fitty. Oh. Hey, man. How you doing? Mm -hmm. How you doing? How are you? How am I? Tell me how you are. Why isn't it? Oh, we did it. Okay. I was like, what's the hold up here, Magic Online? This guy's good. He is good. He's very, very good. This guy, good. I like that you guys value the memes over dispose any disposable income you have that you want to support you, streamers you with. Doing That's that my thing. favorite. Now? Yeah, it's probably going to rain somewhere in the distance. It's going to rain in Zimbabwe. Hunter shakes. Okay, so we're going to get some Sarahs. We're also running out of tickets here. Shut up and take my That's money. That's okay, we do it for the one meme buck. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Get two Sarahs. What else do we need? Ser Serafas? Seraph. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what her name is. I'm hoping this is correct. No, Sar, Sar, Sephara. Like the, it's basically like Sephora, which is where I get Isn't some. Like an MLM company. A what? MLM company. MLM. Yeah. What is MLM? It's a multi-level marketing, also known as pyramid schemes. No, Sephora is a, a cosmetic company in the mall. Shut right, up and take my do they have like members selling it or no? No, it's not. Oh, you mean like Avon? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. That's where I get my dry shampoo from. One meme, meme buck. Where I get my buck. dry shampoo. Why would you say it like that? I only shampoo in the dry like a hamster. Like a ham? In the, in the dry? Mm hmm I don't know what in the dry means. You know, in the dry. Without the wet. I gotta do more late night streams, man. Why? Because, because you just, you just, you just, you just, you just, right. you just, you just. All right, this is our deck so far. We're gonna try. Just shut up. Just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, shut up. Shut, shut up. up. Just shut up. Mike, give me a Sunny D song. 
Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sunny D. Sunny D does burn your throat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you always gonna say you kept? Oh, Jesus. These hands, dude. I keep it. Should we? Should we not? Do we have? We have twenty three lands, right? Just making sure. Yeah, twenty three. Just checking. You'd keep this. Yeah. All right. Sarah the Benevolent can go, I guess. If you draw any land. We're cooking with gas. I don't. But I. I don't. Oh. Shut up and take my Let's money. See what you got here. Tree fitty. Tree fitty. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Oh, we got we got spell pierce, force two force of negations, and adjacent mind. Yeah, I'll take the snare. And by pierce, I meant snare. But you guys, God, you can't even hold your glasses up; they just keep falling on your face. But I do that on purpose. Do you? Mm -hmm. Prove it. How am I going to prove that? I want you to prove it. But how? It's not my job to to tell you how to prove things, Mucho. What if it was. Kurt, the command should also have uh, the link to the clip. <laughs> that would make it. That's how you really. Oh, yeah, island is the same island. Yep. Okay. One down. Pass the turn. Oh, they drew a serum visions. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. You want to hear your? Do you want to hear your magnificence? Of course. I always remember Sunny D having like a like it would burn my throat. Do you ever remember that? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's so weird. Why would they have that though? Why would that be a? That's why I don't like about it. Why would that be a marketable quality that they would want? I don't think they market that part. Well, that you don't think? Yeah, I guess that's true. They're not like, hey, it'll burn your throat, Sunny D. It'll burn your throat, Sunny D. <laughs> wow, he's that's a very so weird. I was like. Guys. Sunny D, Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. <laughs> God, he got so into it, though. It was amazing. I was like, this is impressive. He's really on it. Oh, boy. Teamwork makes the meme work. Wow. Fantastic. I don't know if it was really marketable. I don't know if <laughs> Sunny D, it'll burn. <laughs> wow, that's just incredible. Bilbo, Bilbo Bergens? Yeah, Bilbo Bergens. Is he, <laughs> is he the distant cousin of Bilbo Baggins? Yes. Oh, Bergens. Twice removed. That's from the knockoff version of Lord of the... Lord of the... Lord, Lord of the of Bracelets. The, yeah, Lord of the Bracelets. Oh, that's all Bilbo Bergens. Lord of the Toe Rings. What, what does that mean? You don't know about Lord of the Toe Rings? No one knows Lord of the Toe Rings. That's the alternate film. Can you do a country version? The Lord of the Toe Rings? I don't know. Of, you know of your you life. Of Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. God, Force of Negation gets, just gets our bitter blossom. Sunny D. Not burn. if they don't cast it. That's a good point. I hadn't considered that. That's really smart. Mm -hmm. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sunny D ain't noise pollution. You know, like you do. Hey, it'll burn your throat. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sunny D. I was like, it'll burn your throat. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Oh, that was perfect. It really, you know, it really was. It really, really was. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, let's see if we can hit this Jason's McMasons. You think this is really double force? That'd be brutal. Would it be? What they get rid of? Force pitching force. Jesus, it's like like it's like a legacy here, guys. Force pitch force. 
I wish I had one more land so I could play either band. of these two. But what did you say? What's the name of my band? What is Force Pitch Force? Yeah. Do you think about Sunny D? Burn your throat? Yeah, man. Sunny D. I think I'm gonna make a coffee. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh? You saw that coming. I think no, I'm no gonna, one. I think I'm gonna go to the Wawa. No, I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna go make one at the Wawa. I'm not gonna go to the Wawa. I'm gonna go to the Wawa and make a coffee. I'm not gonna go to the Wawa. You don't have to scream. Yes, I do. We're all friends here. Are you even dealing with like me? Wow. What a rap scallion. Mike B, want me to send you a chicken? No, Kurt, I don't think I need a chicken. Kurt, you are so wonderfully weird, my friend. I love you. I just need caffeine, and I have that, so you don't need to send me no chicken. Michael B, send him a chicken. Michael B. Oh did they, they give us another land? That's great news. Michael B, he'll burn your throat. I'm just going to get in there. What about one of those energy chickens? You know, red chicken. <laughs> um, what about four chicken? Four chicken? Chicken loco? Chicken loco, wow. That's to the tune of the cucaracha. The cockroach. That's correct. You ever had one of those monster chickens? A lot of caffeine in those boys. A lot of, a lot of chicken caffeine. Chicken Ooh, caffeine. Mike. I'm going to play this intangible virtue. Y'all, y'all like Red chicken. Y'all like intangible virtues. I want to make a candy called intangible virtues. And it's going to be a, are they going to be chewy candy? That's correct. Nice. You really for your soft teeth. Yeah. Cause my gram, cause my gram, Cryptic command. It's like pate where they force feed the chicken Red Bull till it dies, then the chicken meat is ca caffeinated. Wow. Jesus. Chicken meat will burn your throat. Chicken meat will burn your throat. Hey, man, I don't make the rules. No, you don't. Hey, man, have you seen any of the Preacher show? Yes. How much? First season. Why'd you stop? I didn't. I just haven't gotten around to the second season. Okay. I haven't either. Have you watched the first season? No. Yes, I have. Okay. And the new season is the final season, so I'm real tempted to like catch up and just watch the whole thing. How do you feel about that? Was it, was, it, was it the final season because it was canceled? No, it's because it's ending. Only two seasons? It's up. To, it's on like the fourth season right now. Or the fifth season. Oh. Well, you thought it was only the second season? Yeah, I thought it was like the second season was the last season. I was like, whoa. It's on season four. Season four just started. Okay. 87% of Rotten Tomatoes is pretty good. I'm actually surprised. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, to be honest. Really? I like season one. Okay. 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 Are they going to settle the wreckage here? Monster chicken with a little Sunny D dipping sauce and some mac and cheese candy canes on the side. Wow. Mac and cheese candy canes. That's a meme from a previous video. Path to Exile is one of these dudes. Chicken means and burn your throat. Alright, good one, I guess. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sunny D. This is interesting. You have three cards, you know, one is adjacent to Mind Sculpture. Do we play around it with Battle Screech? Because then if you have another path for this guy, if your hand is like, your hand has to be like Path, Supreme Will, Supreme Verdict, and Jace, right? But you're a one. I don't need to put anything else on the board, so I'm not going to. Here's the other path. <laughs> and so your hand is going to be Jace and Wrath of God, right? That's what we're. That's what we're assuming here. If 
Field of Ruin. That is not a Wrath of God. And it's also not a Wrath of God. You're going to put Terminus back? Mm, that doesn't really work, though. Unless you have an Opt on your turn. And then you have a Terminus that you put back. Oh, they just died. Okay. Are you sitting here singing your Sunny D song? What? <laughs> oh! Oh! Alright, so we're going to take out the paths. We're going to bring in Camball, Camball, Thoughtseize. And I guess that's probably it. Camball, Camball. A lone lord with a little Camball. I don't know what you're doing right now. Do we just put one ley line? I have literally no idea what, what else we bring in here. Just play one path, it's fine. I'm sure they have some creature. Uh, they do have Celestial Colony, so. Do you prefer to give Mike the belt before or after your streams? He He's an adult. He can use his belt however he sees fit. I don't wear belts. I just let my pants hang down. Yikes. Like a true adult. Yeah, I'm going to go get that caffeine. Good luck. I don't need luck. Good luck anyway. Thank you, I guess. Look at that cat. You should put him on this chair while you before you before you leave. This cat? Yeah. No nah, man, he won't do that. He's in his bed. He might. Sit, I bet he will. Put him on this chair. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, do it. Put him on the chair. <laughs> he doesn't like that. He's like, nah. he's not having a good time. Neither is Mike. Jesus God. Actually, the chair might be warm from you, so he might actually enjoy this. Let's find out. Rock and roll, kitty cat pollution. Little man hype! <laughs> cat stream. Keeping this hand. Cat stream. Hey, bud. I can take the event list away. Oh no, he's too low. He's right there. You can see him. Yeah, this is Low Man. This is who goes Mao. This is he who goes Mao. Actually, we can probably just go Urborg Thoughtseize into. Um. I don't want to do that because if we hit Spectral Procession, I want to be able to play on three. So. What do you got? Spellcall or Mana Leak? This is, this is all you got? I'm going to take the Mana Leak. That's no good. Feeling good about this game. Got a bitter blossom every day. I feel okay getting planes with these Marsh Flats as well. Wow, we're getting all the Goblin Shrines. Do, 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 do. I hope you didn't draw a thing that we care about. Did you? And you did not. So they do have... We know they have Spell Queller in hand. That's what they play. They played Glacial Fortress. So we know their hand is Field, Spell Queller, Plains. Hmm. Whatever they pull, whatever, whatever they play, we're gonna, they're gonna counter. So might as well play the, this is fine.
Oh, uh, we do have one Vault of the Archangel. Yes, we do. Man, Kitty Cat's just hanging out. Kitty Cat is a battle screecher. Do, 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 do. Wow, you just drew, two, you just drew a counter spell. That's good. That's very good. Wow, double spell queller. Impressive. Most impressive. You do. You definitely see little man's ears down there. So we take four, go to seven, then we go to six from Bitter Blossom, and then we get a triple blockers. I don't know. It's rough. <sighs> of course, the match we brought out the paths, they get double spell queller. Seems good. My dog puts one ear up, one ear down. We can call that party ear because one's ready to party. Yeah, it's like it's like the mullet. It's like, uh, we're just going to go to six here. I don't know why. It's not great. Who's the slow man? Uh, he's literally right here. Kitty cat on the chair. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, so is that, though. Jeez. Well, the funny thing is there's two four mana Sorens, so... This actually feels decent. Not the emblem one? Well, there's actually three four mana Sorens then, I guess. <laughs> the plus one, plus oh, and lifelink one I think is terrible. I just hate that Soren. Negative two to make a vampire is not great. Like, you're, you're hoping on the plus one, but, like, he doesn't really add to the board. Like, I don't know. He just doesn't feel great. Could be fine. The plus one, plus oh could be relevant. We have a lot of guys on board, but if you have a lot of guys on board, usually you're probably doing fine. I think Sarah's just a better Soren, right? Like, Sarah, for negative for the negative ability, you get a 4-4 four, four flyer instead of a 2-2 two, two flyer. And for the plus ability, all your flyers are getting plus one, plus one instead of plus one, plus oh, and lifelink. Like, the lifelink is very relevant, but... I think I'd give up the lifelink for an extra point of toughness on the plus or a 4-4 four, four flyer on the minus. Oh wow, this is aggressive. Um Yep, it's going to rain any second now. Skinny Love, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Welcome back. 
like they can block here and then just like sack this to keep all our guys alive, which seems pretty good. Ideally, we can draw something good here. I mean, Lightning Souls is pretty decent. We're going deep, boys. Rock and roll ain't no pollution. Get lingering. Don't you just die? Any I don't know what you mean. I have no idea what you mean there. We are one mana shy of casting this. I, mean, I guess if they don't have anything, like... One, two, three, four... Sure, let's hope they don't have anything, I guess. And if the last card's Cryptic Command, we're dead anyway, right? They tap down our team and they attack for a million. No, I didn't attack with the fairy because I wanted to have enough blockers to quadruple block this and then block this as well. That's why I didn't. That's why I kept five blockers up. <clears throat> okay. We have no cards in hand. Dodging bullets here. Seven seven flyer on board. Okay. I think, do they know this has lifelink? Oh boy. Oh wow, that's great. Oh boy. <laughs> lifelink it is. <laughs> All right, let's play Selfless Spirit. This is what's known as the recovery. Yeah, we're just talking with everybody here. And now at 12, I see no reason not to play a Bitter Blossom again, so. And they, like, Supreme Verdict doesn't do it anymore. Detention Sphere to get rid of this is fine because then we still have a lot of damage on board oh man unfortunately lifelink is hidden underneath all of this wall of text oh boy 1-0 with our sweet flying boys deck we also didn't draw any Sarah's that game rock and roll ain't gonna kill you I don't know what that means. It's violent video games. Alright, so... 
I don't think I have any complaints right now. You think we cut Urborg? It's interesting. Interesting. Not great, Bob. I could see adding one more concealed courtyard for the Urborg, I guess. I guess. I don't know if it does much. Like, we only have two black cards. Like, whenever we draw Urborg at any point in the game, it's probably no better than a swamp. So, you know, that's my theory. So maybe that's okay, Bob. Maybe that's okay. Burp, 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 burp. Let's Godless Shrine first. That lets everything come into play untapped. This guy into this guy into this lady. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. The moment of truth. Do you know the song Electric Avenue? The one I'm literally humming right now? I think so. You gotta rock down to Electric Avenue. And then Mike takes it higher. The kitty cat did stay here. I know. It's because it was all warm. Sorry, buddy. He's like, stop moving me, man. You put me on this chair, now you're taking me off. You put me on, now you take me off. You put me on, now you'll take me off. You buy your musket bottle, run you through. Yeah, that's a little trooper right there. Drop that. I didn't think they. I didn't think they have six thirds. I dropped something. Oh, a tissue. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh, so here's the reason we did this. I uh. Actually, maybe we'll just play Sarah and make a dude. I'll put you on this chair. By God, I'll take you off it, too. Yeah, that's... Maybe just Sarah make a guy. And then next turn we can go Spectral and Intangible Virtue. Ooh, that's a lot of thingamajigs. We won our first match, by the way. Okay, we won this game. A bit, a double carrion feeder with black cliff cliffs and a swamp says ley lines, right? Mm hmm. I think the safaras out. I think they're too expensive here. Selfless spirit also doesn't seem great. What's the goal of the stick to mill us? Is that how they win? No, they don't do that anymore. What do they do? What's their win condition? Just attack with an 88. Really? That's it? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Swing low, sweet sunny D. It'll burn your throat. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. All right, I'll well, we'll just bring in this. It's a weird pose for that. For this? I like the original art better. You doing okay, man? What? You doing okay? No. You fixing Never. your swoop? I'm always fixing my swoop. Hunter, no. Stop. I always rely on Sunny to cure my meat throat. I don't even know what that means. I grew up in a very interesting small town. My dad drank Sunny D screwdrivers. Is that true? Ooh, that sounds like a good time. Does it? Does it? It actually sounds okay. Does it? This hand you doesn't You don't know about the good. meat throats? I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> oh, no, cancel. <laughs> Woo. 
I was like, I thought I, was, I thought I was putting it into play. Uh, got our battle screech right. <coughs> Done. Put you on the board. Gonna wreck you with leyline. I hope that's my biggest hope. My biggest hope. Carry and feeder. Michael Beasy living in a trash can. I like the better boss and Orgak champion combo. You lose a life, gain a life. Ooh, Tang. Tang is the, the truth. You mean the Ooh Tang clan? Wow, this is a nice 1 1. That literally has no impact on the game whatsoever. I'll exile four cards. Oh, uh, seems good. Ooh, I think it's Bitter Blossom first. Right? Right? Or is it Oriac? It's Oriac Champion, right? Because it blocks this guy all day. All right, all Oriac Champion. Chris, did you really grow up in a small town? In a small town. I it? was raised in a small town. And there's a I can breathe in a small town. You could breathe in a small town. Yeah. You know who sings that song? My dad. Uh, yeah, always yes. Look at that, I'm back at 20. You know who sings that song, Michael? Your dad? Yeah, my dad. Two Venge Vines. Well, I'll get rid of one of them, I guess. I was Mike B in a small town. I hope they don't draw another green so they can't cast their Venge Vine. That might get it. I bet that gets another green. Oh, it did. They're so good at this game. Yep, you got it. I'll take five. Always yes and always yield. I don't need you to be asking me every time if I want to gain life. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. Excuse me? Hymen adult. Hymen adult? Yes. What does that mean? Uh, what are you you feeling a little more animated now? Yeah. Can you sing your Sunny D song for everybody? Sunny D, it'll burn you through. Sunny D. I like that you hit that high at the end there. I'm gonna double block this vengeful venge venge vengeful vine with my shambling vent and my fairy rogue. How's that sound? Sounds okay. And then it'll be gone forever. In theory, if they didn't draw something, they did not. <laughs> Let me tell you about Double Bitter Blossoms. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure they just can't win this game. That's my theory. I don't know, man. It's two a turn you're taking. It's not. Because I gain two every time. Oh. Did you not catch that when I said it earlier? Mike, I'd like to hear your falsetto. What'd that mean? EE -E would hurt. Uh, would it? Do they have engineering explosives? What, on four or on two? Oh, no, not not nature's claim. Nature's claimer. Nature's claimer? That feels a little too late, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's fine. And we gained four life G's. They're just like, they're loading us up. <clears throat> Oof. Oh boy. Oof. So now we gain two life every time a fairy comes into play. So Bitter Blossom's actually netting us life. And we get two fairies? Yeah. Dang. When you're Dang. remember when you were a kid and two fairy Dang. the two fairy came? Dang. Oh, that's pretty good. Seems good. Must be nice. Nature's claim into force of vigor. Alright. I'm game for all these draws that were hidden. Nope, you guys stay home. 
and we should win next turn. That's my theory. I guess we both had some decent top decks. I don't know. I was raised in Mike B's town. Lightning Axe, one Fairy, one Clefairy. I mean, we still win, right? This is four damage. Are they going to play this Hogak? Looks like it. Okay, so then we just double attack. They can block one, and then they take one, two, three, four, five. Sure. I mean... Oh. Giant Carp, what's going on, buddy? Just path the guy. It doesn't really matter, though. We don't have to do that. We just win the game. A game theory. What? What? Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Hmm? Hmm? What? What are your thoughts on the current C19 spoilers, Mutual? We're 2-0 with this deck right now. I think it's unbeatable. What are my thoughts on the C19 spoilers? Yes, Michael. Well, I'll be honest, guys. I don't like the decks so far. I don't think they're that powerful. They look, I mean, they're well designed. They probably play okay out of the box, but they're just kind of like, I don't know, they just really don't compare to like the 2016 ones. 2016! They don't compare to the three year old commander decks. Jesus, you sound like an old grandpa. Well, I mean, the four color ones were so good. Powerful. Back in my day when they had commander decks in 2016, you see. Yeah, such an old man three years ago. Oh, there's just no more true name nemesis in packs anymore, you know. When I, back in my day, creatures had protection from everything. You sound like an asshole. It's because I am one. I'm looking into your soul. You're not looking at it. <laughs> You're not looking at anything, you friggin' weirdo. We keep this. Our first turn is like spectral on turn three. I'm offended that yeah, it's the naming conventions are weird that they call the core set the next year when it rotates out, but they call the commander set the year that it's released. Like you have two different sets with with dates in their name. But their conventions for choosing those dates is different. It's very strange. I actually have no idea whether to mulligan this hand. <sighs> Do we mulligan this hand, Michael? Nah, I keep it. All right, fine. I'll keep it. I'm gonna draw. We're just gonna top take a bitter blossom anyway. It's fine. Spider V with the the bits. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. M20 is named that because the lead designer was 20 when he first joined WotC. Wow, that's so weird. You think that wouldn't have an effect on the on the set, but... No, that's not true. You have to be at least 35 to work at Wizards. No, that's... You're thinking of the president. No, no, no. Oh, wait, you're... Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Wait, no. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I see. That's fine. They can take one path out of the two. That's actually fine. I just wanted a diamond next to my name. Wow, that's great. I like that a lot. I wonder if there are any 20-year-olds that work at Wizards. You guys should all donate bits just so you can get diamonds next to your name. I'm mostly offended that they printed Kai Car, a far superior Jeskai Kai spell singer commander right before. Why, though? Why does that offend you? You have both. It shouldn't bother you just because it's in a different set. That's crazy. Who is the president of Watsi? I think the CEO is Chris Cooks. Actually, did he leave? People that high up in companies always blow my mind. I'm like, you don't seem like a real person. I don't understand how you get to that level. I'm just like a... Oh, another one. I see. Just a pleb. I am. I was just literally going to say a pleb. I'm just like a... I'm like a, I'm like a low-tier corporate pleb. I have no idea how, how the, the structures and the hierarchies work within corporations. Who is the Pope of Wizard of the Coast? It's actually Michael B. It's called networking. Well, yeah, sure, but... 
I mean, you can't. I don't know if you can network your way up to the CEO. I think you have to have some some sort of marketable skill set or or resumeic experience. Resumeic. <laughs> I was raised. Oh, Jesus! Wonderful. If I had to work at Wizards. No, that's you're thinking of the president. No, no, no. Oh wait, you're yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> That was good timing, man. I appreciate your timing there. Yep, let's discard a card. We'll discard one of these paths. I feel like us being able to go spectral next turn is very, very good. It's very, very good. Let's get a god the shrine. Oh, and a lingering souls that we can discard next turn and then cast Safara. Oh boy, that seems cheeky. Cheeky. Cheeky! You can't do anything but network to CEO really. Oh, interesting. I'm learning things every day. What's that called? Smarter Every Day? It's a good sure. YouTube channel. I wouldn't know it. You don't know Smarter Every Day? No. Really? Nope. With all the YouTube you watch? I'm really surprised, man. You surprise me. What's it about? It's about being smarter every day. Okay. But see, you insist on being dumber every day. Are they ghosting? How do they know? I do want to learn about underwater lasers. I always want to learn about underwater lasers. Tireless tractor. Oh, I'm going to tireless tractor all over your bottoms. I want to kill this guy now, as a matter of fact. I'm self-employed. I like to think I'm the CEO of myself. Hmm. You'd like to think that, but you'd be wrong. But maybe you're right. For I am your CEO. <laughs> Attack Liliana of the Vool. So we discard Marsh Flats, we recast this, and then we just play 7-7. Seven, seven. That seems good. There's a subscriber named Tireless Tractor, and he always gets excited when we play Tireless Tracker. And I think that's cool. I think that's pretty cool. And I? I think that's cool. And me? I think that's all right. <laughs> you become the CEO by killing the previous CEO and eating their heart. Wow. Same. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I want I you to... I'm listening. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Are you ready, Boots? I don't know what that means. You will be. You will be. You will be. Are you going to let me flash this back? <coughs> oh, we just win. How did... What? I don't understand. I don't think he's ghosting, man. That's so weird, though. These decisions are weird. Like, lightning bolting one token and, like, making me sacrifice one token and conceding with lingering souls on the stack. Like... I don't understand. Did they know about the? Did they know about this? Yeah, they knew about this, didn't they? That's probably what it is. They knew about this card. Come on. Oriac Champion seems. Can good. you drawing the Assassin Trophy or something though? Uh, yeah, but it's very limited. Plus, we still have five one ones on board, so. I guess. I guess. My name is Michael. I guess. Does it bother you that you sound like that? Mm -mm. It would bother me that I sound like that. Oh, you're not me. Boy, ain't that the truth. Boy, ain't that the truth. Who's the Kurgan of CEOs? I have no idea what that means. What's a Kurgan? Is it like a Swedish king or something? When you went to the doctor, did he tell you had candy heart? Yes. Yeah, it's a Swedish king. Kurgan is a Swedish king. It also makes coffee for you. <laughs> it's a Kurg joke. Yeah, I get it, man. <laughs> Shut up. Thoughtsies. The bad guy from Highlander. Yeah. Okay. Can anyone... I mean, no one even cares. No one even cares if I just call the card I draw anymore. It's just literally everyone so... So conditioned to, to expect it. Yeah, I just thought that was your natural ability. That's my mutant power. Oh, wow. Do we just get rid of this Renin 6? Oh, God. Yes, we do. Plague Engineer is obnoxious, but you have to name... We have, like, three different token types. Bird spirit and fairy so I'm not really too concerned with that 
Whereas red and six, you play a land, you get a land back. Dude, you're at 15. You're basically dead. I know. It's not impressive anymore. <laughs> it's just, you're just getting... Alright, we do need a land here. Oh, we oh, can also... Black. Shut up. God. All of a sudden, he knows how to tap his land, so he thinks he's on the Pro Tour over here. Well, I am on the Pro Tour. You can't even say it without belching, you <laughs> grotesque creature. No, that's the Pro Tour. I'm on the belching Pro Tour. Oh, really? Yeah. I bet you win the whole thing. I might. Except for that Japanese guy that Slip. can burp like three times in a row. On command. You played a Blood Crypt... And you played a Black Cleave Cliff. So you know about the Blood Crypt. You do not know about the Black Cleave Cliff. So you have, we know four of the five cards in your hand. Liliana. Sure. I will discard Lingering Souls. And you gave me something to cast next turn. Thank you. You got a rare Bloodstained Mire. Okay. Michael B. Ain't Michael nice. B is Michael B. Michael B is Michael B. So here's the thing, we're gonna play Intense Virtue first, because if we play uh if we play Lingering Souls, they have an opportunity to play Plague Engineer and kill it. Kill like they kill two spirits immediately. So we lose the spirits. If we play Intense Virtue, at no point can Plague Engineer kill any of our creatures that we that we've cast. Oh, we just win the game. That's all it takes, I guess. And Weird. one intangible virtue is really all they want. Jund, ladies and gentlemen, we are 3 0 with Danny DB's. You already played three matches? Yeah. We just beat, we beat the Hogak deck. You were here for that. We beat Jund. You were here for that. And then we beat uh, the Blue-White Control. You were here for the beginning of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Life comes at you fast. Think we can go with the 5-0? You're 1-0 three times. I don't know what that means. But we've beaten... But we went 2-0 all those times. So we're 6-0. One time, times three, times. I'm not following. It's starting to get confusing. Buddy, listen to me. Are you listening to me? The one upside that is good about the commander... Uh, 2019 set is even if you're not a fan of the like decks like me the reprints in there are generally worth it like there's a lot of good reprints. you mean like true name nemesis which you, you just can't shut up about dude non-stop when we're hanging out he's just why don't they just reprint true name nemesis i think it's a really good card i don't know why they don't play true name nemesis more often i'm just like shut the fuck just shut i don't up. think I, I don't think we've literally ever had a conversation about true name nemesis here we go this is what he does and then he's like that never happened i'm like geez i'm just so tired of hearing about true name nemesis a stupid three one who even cares just play your cards and don't worry about it um so i'm gonna get a planes here oh they played nurse's tower okay so they're not gonna interact with this at all i guess oh they're putting lightning grooves in that's good i like that <laughs> everyone needs more lightning greaves in their life more like lifening greaves am i right do you remember that time you were talking about your name nemesis do you remember the time that i murdered you on camera I don't. Is Who's that, right now? Is it coming uh, up soon? Hunter High. My buddy. Hunter High ain't noise pollution. What does this do? Oh, wow. So if they go land, they can play Ugin next turn and just wipe our wipe our life? Okay. 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 Assuming they have Tron, yes. Well, they always have Tron. That's not even, that's not even a question. New Soul Ring art too. Man, Soul Rings and Lightning Greaves are the most Soul Ring's got a new art? Soul Ring and Lightning Greaves are the most oversaturated cards that Oh, they don't have it. Dude, can you imagine what's happening right now? Semblance Anvil? What is happening oh, right this now? This is a weird deck. Spells you cast that share a card type with the exile card costs two less. Oh Jesus. What are they doing? Michael, explain to me what's happening. Mike, you play Commander, tell me what's going on. Michael, they exile the puzzle a metal 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 spinner puzzles not. They're, uh -huh. they're playing that for free, okay. Oh, this is a weird deck. Oh, God, I'm impressed right now. Oh, God, Icar Wellspring, they're going off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that Sol Ring actually looks dope. No, that Sol Ring looks dope. Wait, this, this is in the 2019, right? This is like a judge thing. What's the logo? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a judge promo. That's not like a or like a okay. that's a promo. It's not a it's not a soul ring. What is happening? Do we just intangible virtue here? I think so. Tangible virtue puts a bunch of power on the board, puts four extra power on the board. Lingering souls puts two. The magic promo soul ring looks fucking sweet. Magic promo 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 soul looks fucking sweet. I hate you. I hate you. It's just so much. It's how much. I can't even. I can't even count how much. Mystic forge. Oh Jesus, this deck is going ham. Ham swine skillet. All right, so damping sphere is definitely coming in. Stony Silence is coming in. You're gonna die. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. You're gonna die. Is that your? Is that a reverse Jar Jar Binks? Yeah. It's dark, man. It's real dark. I couldn't find the art. I couldn't find the art. My name is Michael, and I can't find the art. <laughs> he exiled Tron. You won. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Excellent. Something, something dark side. Okay, they're at... Okay, what if they... Can they whiff? Is it possible to whiff? Jesus. God, I hope so. What are they even doing? I don't know, dude. Talisman? That's not exciting. You don't get to draw a card or anything from that. I think they're whiffing. It feels like a whiff. And they're at six, so our board is lethal. Yeah, all the artifacts are free, but, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. You know what else is free? Garbage in the trash can. Doesn't mean you want it. They have Talisman in one of their cards. I love garbage in the trash can. No, you it's don't. It's my favorite thing to collect. It's, it's not. They won We won. We won the game. I like to suck the juices from the bottom. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. A little garbage water for you. Oh, God. Oh, all these are coming in. We're going to take out the paths, the selfless spruits. Bringing all these. Try, try to find room for that guy to get the force of virtue. I like to suck don't the... We, don't we want stony sounds here? We put it in. It's already oh, in okay. here. I like to suck the juices from the bottom. <laughs> the juices... It might be the most disgusting thing I've ever said. From the bottom. <coughs> well, you're a disgusting... <coughs> A rock and a roll, gonna keep this hand. What are you doing? You miss, did you spill on those cards? What? Did you spill something? No. Did you mess with those cards? No, just looking at it. I wanted to know what that card was. The Ashnod's Altar? Yeah, it's like in Japanese or something. A little garbage water for you was the name of my school, my selling garbage water business. <laughs> hey, get your <laughs> little garbage water here. All right, let's go concealed into thought seas. See what you're working with here. Suck the juices from the bottom. Oh, fuck. I like to suck the juices from the bottom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I like to suck. Look at this hand. What is this? Karn, Karn, Ulamog, Worm Coil, Urza's mine. I guess they're really hoping to hit that Tron piece. I don't even care about this Mind Stone because you just don't have. I'm just gonna take the Worm Coil because it's the it's the cheapest thing in your hand, and then we're gonna play Stony Silence, and then we're gonna shut off that Mind Stone. I guess they're just hoping to hit tower. Which is good if you do. Yeah, they hit tower, their hands are nuts. I work as a nurse in a psychiatric ward, and this stream is where I get the craziest. <laughs> hey man, we're just talking about sucking garbage water. Oh, this is actually great. We get we get a twofer here. I want to suck your garbage water. No one wants to do that. 
James, what's going on, buddy? Nurturing Pete Lind ain't Michael's mama. I bet working the psych ward's got to have some crazy days. Crazy days. Just living with my crazy days. All right, two safaras is too many. That's a little too safara, if you ask me. Dang it, I was going to make that joke. Got him! Go suck on your garbage water, stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, fudge! I didn't know they, they're F6ing too quick that I'm like almost skipping through my turns here. F6 again, all right. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Actually, Karn's not terrible for us here, to be honest with you. He got bit once. Western State. That's a hospital. Last huh? shift, one of my patients casually ate a knife. Brutal. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, exile a card from her hand? Sure. I hope he was like, that's not a knife. That's a knife. And then he ate it. And then he ate it. Do, 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 do. And then he ate it. Do, 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 do. Let's see what That's you got That's a good question. Here. How do you do that casually? <clears throat> uh, and two more cards. Let's go to this all is dust. That seems like it's the most concerning card. So your hand is Karn Karn Ulamog. Karn Karn Ulamog. Oh, we can't do that anyway, right? We can only make two flyers this turn. We can't cast a Safara here. Do we just go four to the face? They could go Karn Exile this, Karn Exile this. That doesn't seem great. <clears throat> I think we just attack their face for four. Put them to eight. Seems bad. I'm not a fan of it, but. I don't want to set Mike's mom on fire. Uh, then don't. I just want to start. A flame in your shard. Oh, and they took my sonic silence? Government took my stony silence. <laughs> did the government do that, buddy? You know it did. But All right, so they're one. They have one Karn and one Ulamog that we know about. Like if we do this, they just get to Karn and then Karn again. Wait, how many battle screech? Three. So I can actually hit this Karn for one. And then still Battle Screech? Yeah, that seems great. Let's do that. Battle Screech. <clears throat> In the Battle Screech 2000. You got it. I feel like they boarded from their combo deck to a regular Tron deck now with... Three Karns and Ulamog and a Worm Coil Engine, and I'm just like, well, I can't beat all of this nonsense. I guess we'll exile one Safara Skies Blade. And I'm just hoping for an Intangible Virtue so I can just kill you. But you're probably not going to let me do that. Skies Blade. Feel alright. Skies Blade. What's wrong with you? What's right with me is wrong for the pong. What's right with me is wrong for the pong. Yeah. The deck still runs a small amount of normal wing cuts and gets signed into more as need be since it runs. Get a load of get a load of modern go get a load of no no beats modern over here. Unbelievable, this guy. So they have eight. They're at eight life. More like no meats, because the M is for modern. No meats. Mm-hmm. 
meets up, meets up. <laughs> wow. I'm mean, gonna have to hit an Ugin, right? Wilmog doesn't do shit. I got only have reach, even though he's like ten thousand feet tall. So we can tap four and play this, but then we put them to two. I don't think I care about the Karn if I can put them to two. Like, I think we're just attacking for. No, no attack undo. No, it's mo it's it's no meats. Oh god, attack all at you. No. Okay, everybody's coming back. Attack with your face. Attack with your face, huh? All right, we're gonna put you to two. I'm not gonna play the land because we can just pl we can just the exile with Karn, and we still have this option. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All is dust. <sighs> yeah, that's what we we're afraid of. They just had to hit. We said it. We said they have to hit Ugin, so. And they did. I mean, I don't really mind O-Stone if they want to get rid of their own Karn and all their artifacts and it's whatever. Yeah, that's really hard to deal with because even if we draw like Lingering Souls, we're just dead. Yep. Yeah, Ugin's a real pain in the ass. Ooh, powerful card. That is a powerful wizard. Take out a battle screech for selfless spirit. I just want to have another two drop. Take out a safari. You're a wizard bird man. I know. Who's a wait, who's a bird man? What? Who's a wizard or a bird man? What are you talking about? We're gonna have to go back to that mental hospital with you. <laughs> I mean we tried. We tried our best, you know. But Oh man, that's pretty far. We'll go to a different one. We'll go to a closer one. Okay. 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 Bah. Kai Car is a wizard bird, man. You like Kai Car? Yeah. Do you? It's alright. Are we going to lose this match? <clears throat> Probably. Maybe we should just try playing Tron? Gross. Phil, you've been subscribed for far too long to, to, to suggest something like that. What was that noise you just made? I don't know what you're talking about. You're a disgusting pig. Oh, that's actually great. We can go stony into spectral into double intangible if we draw land. Oof. Then it'll be quad quads. Quad quads is the name of the bird I discovered on the Galakbos Islands. The Galakbos Islands? Actually, I'm stupid. They'd be three threes. <laughs> Everyone doubles it even more. Oh, they hit a power plant off of their ancient stirrings when they already have a power plant? This is Mono Blue Tron? No. Yeah, boy. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Why? Yes, it is. Why? Yes! All right, so the question is, do we intangible virtue here, or do we battle screech, battle screech? I think we battle screech, battle screech. Really? Yeah, because next turn, this uh, they're just dead next turn if we do this. Yeah, Whereas sure. they go to nine, they go to ten, and then they take nine more, they go to they go to one. If we put them to 16 this turn, and we put four more birds on the board, well, no, we could put them to 17, and we put four more birds, then we'll have four, five, six, seven, 21 damage on board. Okay. I like it. I guess they actually can't activate... Yeah, they can still activate this, though. They can still kill one of our Intangible Virtues. How do you know they even got something like that? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to think about my life choices here. Think about your bird. I want to meet that bird. Bird, 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 bird. I like how they separate when you play that. <laughs> They're like, no, no, oh, then, no then they close. go, <laughs> then they go together when you play the second one. What happened there? Oh, did you just crack that? Yeah, that's good. All right. Good, 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 good games. We're 4-0 with this deck, just so you know. I guess this deck is good then. 
Danny, your deck is gassed. We figured it out. We broke the format. All right, we'll do one more. I don't think there's any, like, I have no changes to make to it. It's just crushing right now. <clears throat> I could take one, I could see taking one so far out, but she's actually been pretty sweet the times we were able to cast it. I could see taking you out. Doug, have a great night, buddy. Oh, yeah? It's like a nice dinner and some uh, Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, boy. Okay. I don't know if I'm more excited for the chicken parm or the donuts. Why don't it's you, the chicken parm. Why don't you take the chicken parm and put it between two donuts and then eat it like that? I'm going to throw up my mouth. Is Sarah? Yeah, there's three Sarahs in the deck. You'd be surprised, though. I stepped away to watch a goat video. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good choice, though. It's a solid. Uh, it's a solid decision on your part. I. I would. I would. Goat videos that. are pretty cool. Goats are pretty cool animals. They can like walk <clears throat> up mountains and stuff. I walked up a mountain once. Did you? How many mountains must a goat walk by to call him a goat every day? Krispy Kreme has Reese's donuts, and I might need to change my pants now. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Mike, if you're a wrestler, what would your entrance theme be? Snorlax sleeping. That's a is that a theme? I look really weird right now because you can't really see my eyes. Yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. That was good. Uh -oh. <laughs> I had a burger with a Krispy Kreme donut as a bun. It was the most American thing I ever ate. Yeah, that's pretty American. It would be even more American if you put a grilled cheese on the top and the bottom of it. Uh, we already have one Force of Virtue in the deck, and it's hard to... No, 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 wait. Instead of grilled cheeses, you make the grilled cheeses, but you use the donuts for the grilled cheese. Jesus, God. <laughs> So it's a donut grilled cheese for the top bun and a donut grilled cheese for the bottom bun. Yeah. And a burger in the middle. Yep. Yeah. A nice with thick a, burger. With, a, with some bacon and egg and an egg on there. Yeah. Yeah, that's American. And a Thousand Island dressing on it. Oh, Jesus. God, makes me want to vomit. I bet it would taste so good. I'm making it. Donut, cheese, donut, burger, donut, cheese, donut. Yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, that's about the gist of it, yeah. Yeah. Not donuts. You make French toast for the... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh. Dear God. 10 out of 10 would diabetes. It's taking so long, man. I don't know. No one wants to play modern with this anymore because our deck is unbeatable. I guess so. <clears throat> but instead of slices of bread, you make slices of donuts, French toast. Wow. How much more unhealthy can the sandwich get? Buddy, I ask myself that every day. I'm going to keep this, maybe, this hand is terrible, right? Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. I don't like this hand either. What do you about this? Wow, you guys heard that police car? <laughs> wow, Chris, you were, that was freaking fast, dude. My God. This is definitely a mulligan. All right. Yes, yeah, so we're going to six? We're going to five? Wait, this is your six? Yeah, this is my six. Oh, maybe we keep it then. I mean, uh, it's we're on the draw. sketchy. I'll ship a lingering souls. One land and it's fine, right? We have Yeah. Self of Spirit and Tens Virtue. Two lands and we're just like we can't lose. It did say draft, I totally lied to you. Well it wasn't. I didn't lie to you. We were playing draft, but then we just Oh look at that. Gorgeous. <clears throat> just gorgeous. Snow covered land. Aspen. Are they playing snow ninjas? Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. That'd be cool if they were playing Snow Ninjas. They're called Sninjas? 
Yes, ninjas. You're right. Ghost ninja, ghost ninja, go. Remember that from the the ninja 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 rat movie? Did you say the ninja rat movie? You know what I said. I don't. Don't, don't be like this. Yeah. He's a rat. You're a rat. A friggin' rat. You're eating juice out of the trash, man. What do you want? Uh, I'm sucking juice out of the trash. <laughs> That's so much worse. I'm not eating it, Frank. You old trash sucker. I got a hepatitis A, B, and C. I got a hepatitis abic. You do? Yeah. A, B, C. Easy as hepatitis. Oh, look, another... Wow, Risen Reef and a Spell Queller. Holy crap, this deck seems well, amazing. It's the diseases you get when you drink the trash water, but it's worth it. I just want to play this deck. Can I play this deck? Why? Waterlogged Groot. Why? Why? Because yeah. they just collected company for a counter spell on a Risen Reef? That's, a, that's, that's something, I guess. A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C, yeah. Michael B. Look at this, man. That's really impressive. He's spinning his phone on the desk. It's almost effortless. I wish you guys could see it. Mike B, what do you like more, Sunny D or Trash Water? I think the Trash Water probably burns his throat less. So. But definitely Trash Water. Because, you know, Trash Water could have Sunny D in it. So basically, it's just a combo. It's, it's like a bonus. Sunny D, Trash Water is just Sunny D with a bonus Trash Water in it. <laughs> you guys are obviously here for the okay, no los dos. you guys come for the magic but I think you stay for the high quality memes trash water is like the Dr. Pepper of water I don't know how I feel about this sentence Mike is like the trash water of human beings so yeah, I actually hate magic and delicious. Chris I actually think you do dis actively dislike magic <laughs> I'm pretty sure if we weren't friends, you you have no reason to watch the stream. You know what? I'll keep this. If it wasn't for a commander, I wouldn't play Magic at all. What would LaCroix tra trash water taste like? Uh, it, it would taste like water with a hint of trash. It would taste like LaCroix, I think. Oh, got him. La Shots Cro fired. LaCroix sponsorship out the window. Oh, no. Too bad. No, no. Regis Kilbin is streaming some rad meme Hearthstone. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. God, I'm so out of touch with the Hearthstone community. I'm all out of touch with the Hearthstone community. Oh, do you right? Michael B is trash water. Did you get my email? I feel I did. I did get your email. I did get your email, and I'm okay with that. We'll just have to find some commander times. Uh oh, Risen Reef. We can find some commander times. We can commander tonight. Good. You can commander if you want to. You can leave your commanders behind. Because Michael B. likes to play commander, but he doesn't like 2019. I mean, they're okay, I guess. No, I nailed it. <clears throat> Mike B. is trash water because he lives in the garbage can? Oh, man, Billy, I think you missed. Uh, can we get that trash water clip again? Oh boy, what's happening right now? Oh good. Oh good. You get to kill one of my things. Probably the one that gives me creatures every turn. Seems nice. That's very good. Oh, Eternal Witness and Collected Company, man. This is just what I'm going to be playing. I'm here exclusively for the beat. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, guys. And they still have five cards in hand. This is going to be our last, our loss, our last loss, and our first loss, and our lost love, and our last Frank, lost you get love. Frank, to show you my list, it's no secret who the star of Commander episodes is. Smiley face X. He can barely read, guys. Did you send me a list with your email? Oh, you did. All right, here we go. You can look at it. Bobby Butters is going to take a look at your list. I'll keep it secret, though. Italiano. 
<laughs> oh, good. They killed my thing. <laughs> Mike, why? Come on, Billy. You know the answer to that. You know the answer to why Mike eats trash water. <laughs> trash, garbage, juice. Whatever he said. I like this deck a lot. Oh. It's great. Is it broken? Are people going to be miserable when they play against us? Uh, it looks to be competitive, but I don't think it's broken. It looks like it's playing pretty fair. Don't turn around, Mike B. Michael B's in town, Mike B. This is ridiculous. They've literally had an answer for everything. A green bar? What's even happening right now? Hossmania, have a good afternoon, buddy. The 5 0 dream is dead, unfortunately. But the 4 1 dream with this deck that we've threw together. Wait, why is it dead? Because we're totally dead here. Right, but we get to play two games. We lost the first game. Did we? They had multiple spell quellers. That was another game? I thought it was this game. I can't. I just can't anymore. There's a, there's, there's a certain point. No, it's not for you, okay? None of these are for you. <laughs> You're like, this is not for you. <laughs> this is not for you. Oh, man. Voice of Resurgence is an elemental? What if we... That's spicy. Lose this game, and then we lie, and we play another game. No. Oh, boy. You can edit the video. So even if we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five. We go to three, and that presumes they don't have an answer for this in their five cards. I'm going to scoop, and unfortunately accept my 4-1, but I think that's pretty decent with this list. So... Danny, hopefully this is along with the lines you were looking along the lines of what you were looking for because I think it actually turned out pretty pretty well. And uh, we faced against Tron things, we faced against blue white control things. Even despite a detention sphere, we still managed to crush them. Spectral procession, lingering souls, and tangible virtue. I think the selfless spirit's great. It protects you against lots of things. Path and thought sees. I'll be able to cut a path and cut us a, a Sephara for like something else, but I don't know what. One Forge of First of Virtue is nice. It's just a cool little, like, a fifth. It's like a fifth intangible virtue, basically. Sarah's great, obviously. Battle Screech is good. This, this I, I liked all the cards. None of the cards I was like, man, this should be something else. I, I feel like they all had their uses, and they were all pretty powerful when they were when they were working. So, yeah. I mean, Danny, hopefully, uh, hopefully you approve. Definitely let me know. I'm sure you will on Facebook or an article comment or on, on the stream itself. So, uh Thank you for the opportunity. If you guys want to have your own decks critique, definitely uh, you can check out my uh, my Patreon page or my Twitch page. Uh, the links are in the description below. You can also check out CoolStuffInc.com or Manatraders.com. There's promo codes and links in the description below for those sites as well for their great services. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.